Scientists just helped a mouse live 30% longer using two cancer drugs, because nothing says fountain of youth like chemotherapy. In a new study, researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Biology of Aging in Germany treated aging mice with a combination of trametinib and rapamycin, two common cancer drugs, and found that not only did the mice live 30% longer, they also showed fewer signs of inflammation, improved tissue function, and better metabolic health. So what is actually going on here? Well, we aren't entirely sure, but we know that rapamycin inhibits mTORC1, a protein strongly associated with nutrient signaling pathways Ways, and importantly, senescence, a state where cells stop dividing but don't die, which is good because it stops a damaged cell turning into cancer, but these damaged cells then still sit around like a decommissioned factory and leak some inflammatory signals into the surrounding tissues, which accelerates aging. Trematinib blocks another major cancer and senescence pathway. Inhibiting this pathway dampens pro-growth signaling that can drive healthy cells to malfunction or become senescent. The researchers found that these treated mice didn't just live longer, they also showed healthier aging, with lower chronic inflammation in the brain, kidney, muscle, and spleen, slower tumor development, and better metabolic and heart function. Our lives shall be filled with vim, vigor, and verisimilitude. This extension to life effect was also achieved with plasma levels around 0.1 nanograms per milliliter, which for comparison, human cancer patients typically achieve plasma concentrations of 5.5 to 7.5 nanograms. The good news is that both these drugs are already FDA approved, which means human trials could start much sooner than we would think. But before we consider a daily pill pop, remember that mice aren't many humans, and that leap isn't trivial. Still, if future trials succeed, we could see a revolutionary shift in geriatric medicine allowing us to live longer, but more importantly healthier, lives. Who knew that microdosing on chemotherapy drugs might be the key to longevity? Please no one tell Brian Johnson. So listen up, bitches. If you like science and think aging should be optional, follow for more.